and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos. And if you guys are interested in videos like that, I would love to have you join the family. In today's video, we are doing my 24 week pregnancy update. Yes, another bump date. I'm another week pregnant. I'm super excited. I'm getting bigger and fuller. It's fall. I got my fall fit on even though it's like 90 degrees here. I have an appointment today that I am going to for the baby. I'm actually getting an ultrasound so I'm hoping I can film a few clips for you guys. They are kind of like weird about cameras in their office but I will try to get a few clips. Anyways, it is really really hot here in Florida so I really wish that it would cool down. But that brings me to another topic. I am always so freaking hot. But again, it's 90 degrees here in Florida. What can you do? I never really, I'm always like cold, like I'm a cold natured person. So I believe that pregnancy definitely has something to do with that. Obviously, I am a lot bigger. Um, like I've said in my previous updates, everything just seems so heavy and weighted down. And I'm just super hot all the time still. So that's one thing this week, but that's been happening for a while now. The second thing I wanted to mention is cravings. I mentioned last um, pregnancy update that I was craving cake and I still am craving cake, but along with that is chocolate donuts. And I've kind of had like a love-hate relationship with them. Like sometimes I'll love them, sometimes I'll hate them. It's so weird, but right now I love them. So Garrick actually got me chocolate donuts last night and I had probably like four in the night like that's I wake up craving chocolate donuts I don't know if I'm having dreams about it or what I still feel like there's a bowling ball there I'm gonna ask my doctor today I'm so excited because I finally get to see the baby and actually see an ultrasound where it doesn't just look like a little peanut I'm just excited to see like what he or she looks like and hopefully they can give me at least a profile picture because I am not finding out the gender so I don't want them obviously to give me like a full picture because then I'll be able to know if it's a boy or a girl but hopefully they can just give me a profile shot because um, I want to compare it to Wilder's ultrasound so I am super excited for that my mother-in-law is coming with me because unfortunately Garrick has to work but I am still so so excited and like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to update you guys. I just got back from my appointment. I had an ultrasound and then I met with a doctor and basically I have to go back for to see a specialist, um, an ultrasound specialist because I think there's something wrong with the vertical valve um, or there potentially could be something wrong with the vertical valve in his brain. There could be fluid there um, and it hasn't from my understanding it hasn't developed fully so they're just gonna refer me to a specialist check it out and see what's going on just make sure nothing is wrong anyways I did get to see some pictures of the baby though I will go ahead and insert a clip right here just to show you guys a little video clip of what I got kids they said I'm just kidding as long as he's occupied but I got a headshot we got some toes in there him sucking him or her sucking his thumb and I just I'm gonna go compare them to Wilder's and see how much they look like but overall it went well I did talk to the doctor about like all the pressure and stuff that's been going on and <gasps> He checked me and to see if I was dilated, dilating at all and I wasn't and he said it was really thick and it was just pretty normal after pregnancy especially because I got pregnant so early after Wilder. They are only going to be 15 months apart so he said that that's pretty normal and I will probably just continue having that pressure but I'm just glad I'm not going into preterm labor or anything crazy like that. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my doctor's appointment. As far as my weight, I weighed in today at 133 and 6 pounds. Pre-pregnancy weight, I think I was like 115 pounds. So they've been telling me that I'm right on scale. Um, I might be measuring a little bit higher, but hey, I've eaten literally whatever I wanted this pregnancy. And I kind of did it last pregnancy too. I, I feel like I always 
look and feel really big because if you know me in person, I'm a really small, short person and I have a really tiny torso, so I just look so big anyways. But yes, I'm 133.6 pounds. This baby is kicking like crazy right now and it's mostly whenever I sit down and especially at night, he or she is always keeping me up. But I feel like every time I do these videos, he or she kicks me like crazy because I'm just sitting down and kind of relaxed. That's just whenever IDK Baby is most active. If you guys hear me saying that, like IDK Baby, or we say that in the vlogs and stuff, that's kind of what we refer to this baby as from the beginning. We're like, I don't want to call him or her like it, like, you know, referring to him or her. So Garrick was just like, IDK Baby. So if you guys were wondering, that's what that comes from. But this week in particular, I every time Garrick is home, I literally have him help me out of bed or sitting from sitting down or wherever I'm at because every time I get up, it's kind of sort of painful at this point. Before it was just kind of annoying and like felt a lot of, like a lot of pressure, but now it's just getting kind of painful and I just have to like walk it off for the first like five or ten steps and then it kind of goes away but like initially getting up and like taking those first walks really really there's just so much pressure where it's painful last pregnancy with Wilder I went 40 weeks and I'm sorry my nails are so wonky like hi last pregnancy I went 40 weeks and five days and um, the doctor said that it's more likely that I will go past my due date this time just because of my history with my last pregnancy. But I was telling Garrick the other day, like, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it full term. I'm hoping I do, obviously, but I don't know. I just feel, I never felt this with Wilder. So much pressure. Maybe it's just the way that IDK baby is sitting or what, I don't know. But I'm excited for this appointment because I feel like I have so many questions. Thank God I don't have to ask about hemorrhoids though. Knock on wood. Those of you that know, like, I think it was maybe 16 weeks or so, I had hemorrhoids for the first time in my entire life. And I'm just glad I don't have to go in there and get that checked out or anything because that would be awful and hemorrhoids are super painful. So I'm just blessed. Thank God, hallelujah, that I do not have hemorrhoids. Another thing that happened this week was my nipples were really, and they still are, they're really, really sore. Like before, they were not sore at all. But now, just like washing my body in the shower, like I just have to watch out for them and like even touching them at all. They're not exactly painful, it's just super annoying and like just gives you a weird feeling. Has anybody else? felt that comment below so I know I'm not the only one I know I say that in all my pregnancy updates but I feel like it's so nice to know like you're not alone that's what kind of inspired me to start YouTube and create a YouTube channel in the first place was because number one it started with makeup now I'm like chatting to you guys but I feel like that's what I do in these videos just chat with you guys and tell you about my pregnancy updates. So I wanted to start my YouTube because of beauty. I started watching a lot of beauty channels um, and then I was like, wow, this, this seems so awesome. And then I became a mother and motherhood kind of, you know, took over my entire life and I started watching all these motherhood channels and people's birth vlogs and their pregnancy updates and just watching what they have gone through. So I just... I just felt inspired that way and I was like, okay, we're saving for a camera, we're getting lighting, we gotta get it all, this is my passion. But anyways, I'm going off on a rant. My point is, pregnancy updates are my favorite and it's just nice to be able to relate to people. So if any of you guys are out there experiencing the same symptoms as me and the same week as me, close to me, comment below because I would love to just connect with you guys and it's just awesome to be able to relate to somebody that is kind of going through the same things, maybe not the exact same things, but just pregnancy-wise, the same week, the same month, I feel like that is just awesome, and I've connected with so many people that way and made so many great friends pregnancy-related. That's so crazy, but pregnancy is the best thing ever, and relating to people on that level of like you two being pregnant is just great. I actually have a best friend right now. She is pregnant as well and she's really close to me 
and in the first trimester we were both extremely extremely sick and we would always text each other like are you alive are you okay it's just nice you know I'm sorry if you guys hear that beeping truck that's like the dump truck and it is so freaking loud it's rude I still love ice water so much it's very near and dear to my heart I was talking to Garrick the other day because I remember with Wilder at the hospital I craved ice just like this ice and water and when we were at the hospital they had the best crushed ice in the world and I cannot wait for that I'm so excited for that just load me up on ice and water and I'm good another thing that I noticed is I cannot stand and I mean whenever I say I cannot stand I will throw up I can't stand the smell of broccoli and I remember talking about this in my morning sickness video in like my first trimester like early first trimester whenever I couldn't stand the smell of broccoli but Wilder loves it so I was cooking it for him oh my god I can't even think about it I don't know what it is pregnancy is the weirdest freaking thing you guys I if I even look at broccoli oh no 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 I really want some chicken nuggets I'm craving chicken nuggets so bad right now just like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets so bad Polynesian sauce oh my belly is an Audi I know I said that before but and it was kind of like creeping up but now she's out let's see there she is I don't know how well you guys can see that I'm obviously gonna show you a belly shot anyways but yep an Audi and for those of you wondering what like this kind of mark is right here I used to have my belly button pierced and I took it out when I first found out I was pregnant with Wilder and so there's still like obviously a hole there and it's kind of stretched out so that's what that is it, it the last thing for this week is definitely constipation tmi i'm sorry and if you're squeamish don't watch these pregnancy updates i don't know why you would but Definitely constipation, and it is so, so frustrating. It's inconvenient. It needs to go away. Anyways, you guys, that is all for my 24-week pregnancy update. <sighs> I can't believe it. But anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Well, this is what I mean. Oh my gosh, I wish Garrick was here. I feel like I need to squish my legs in.